Hi everyone! Today I'm going to show you how to make Halloween spice cookies. These are sandwich cookies filled with delicious silky chocolate ganache and topped with vanilla royal icing to make a spooky mummy effect. The first thing you're going to want to do to make these cookies is to pre-make your chocolate ganache. You're going to want to pre-make it so that it can thicken over time and become pipeable for the interiors of your cookies. So, to a bowl, add in one cup of mini chocolate chips for best results and boil half a cup of oat milk or coconut milk. Once boiled, pour over the chocolate chips and just let it sit <laughs> for a few minutes so that the chocolate can melt. And then just whisk it up until it's nice and silky smooth. And finally, just set it aside so that it can thicken up. This might take a few hours, but if you want to speed the process, just put it in the freezer, mixing in between. So the next thing to do is to make the cookie. This is my spice cookie recipe and you can find the specific recipe for the cookies on my blog. Um, I've made it previously. But to make the cookies for this recipe, you're going to want to make the dry ingredients first. To a medium bowl, add in two cups of white rice flour, half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon baking powder, half a teaspoon baking soda, uh, a quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and half a teaspoon allspice. And last but not least, just splash in a bunch of cinnamon, about one to two teaspoons. <laughs> Whisk it all up and just set it aside. Next, for the wet ingredients, you're going to whip up with your electric hand mixer, half a cup of coconut oil, four tablespoons of brown sugar, and yeah, together. <laughs> Whip it up until it's nice and fluffy and smooth. And of course, don't forget to scrape the bowl down with your spatula. Then add in half a cup of maple syrup and whip it up. I suggest to add a bit of the dry ingredient into the mixture before adding the eggs, just so that it doesn't curdle up. Then add in the egg and whip it up some more until nice and silky smooth. And now it's time to slowly, little by little, dump in the dry ingredients and fold it up with a spatula. If it get, once it gets a little too hard to use a spatula, just use your hands and knead it up until nice and squishy. You might need to add a little more flour. Um, anyway, then line two baking sheets with silicone liners or baking parchment paper. And it's time to roll your cookies. Onto your surface, I used um, a personal baking cutting board, add some rice flour and sprinkle it on and spread it onto the surface so that the cookies don't stick. Then get a clump of dough, squish it onto the surface <laughs> and roll it out with ro a rolling pin. Then I, for spe I specifically used a pumpkin cookie cutter, a ghost cookie cutter with a few little adjustments and a cat cookie cutter to make them Halloween themed. And it makes it especially cool and cute. And just cut these out and put them on the tray. Then bake them at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes. And lastly, make the royal icing. Separate one egg white and add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract. With your clean electric hand mixer, whip it up until nice and frothy. Once it's frothy, slowly dump in some powdered sugar. It doesn't need to be sifted, don't worry. And just whip your heart out <laughs> until it's nice and thick and frosting-like. To thin it out, add a few drops of water. This will make it easy to drizzle onto the cookies at the end. But before you drizzle the cookies, it's time for the assemblage. This is the most fun part ever. Get out a podcast, get your music, get headphones, and just sit down and decorate these. With a star piping tip, um, pipe your thick gan um, chocolate ganache and also make little faces onto your Halloween characters. And lastly, drizzle on that royal icing onto the cookies in a rustic fashion so that it can look like money, mummies. It looks really messy, but it looks quite cool at the same time, really oddly. But isn't Halloween all about strange things anyway? And that's it. I hope you enjoy these and thank you so much for watching. Bye!